Welcome back to Radioactive Pancakes. Uh, different episode today. We're outside, and this is my 1980 Camaro, Sally. You'll see I'm also holding a uh, Tascam audio recorder because we've had some bad audio problems recently, and we figure uh, we probably should get a wireless uh, mic at some point. But for now, I will be holding this, and we'll also use it to record inside the car to get some better audio during today's drive. Got the hood popped here, and uh, this is not a show car by any means. And I am not the kind of guy that washes my car every day and wipes it down and scrubs it. And it's wintertime here in uh, Eastern Washington. And let's be honest, there's no way this is gonna stay clean if I drive it. And I'm the kind of guy who drives my car no matter what, no matter what condition, whether there's rocks, there's snow, there's ice, I don't care. I like driving my cars, and therefore you'll see there's a lot of flaws with it, uh, but I don't care because I get to enjoy it. So we're gonna move on to the engine bay and talk through some recent you know, developments on the car and uh, what has happened and transpired. So I've had some issues recently, and uh, it's all around the ignition. So we'll see some funky wires over here. Uh, over by the firewall and headed from this, this switch over here and so this is temporary for now uh, just so this is a direct power wire from the battery to the HEI ignition uh, I actually pulled off an MSD um, 6A uh, CD ignition box recently with uh, the distributor as well I've had some major ignition issues and uh, finally got them resolved by going back to a more stock style HEI distributor with the coil and the cap um, and everything there. So Linetta, not a Z28, has Z28 badging. Um, underneath, the full suspension has been changed, has different leaf springs in the back. I'd love to convert it to a floor link, but still a live axle. Um, all the front end suspension, it's been converted to a coilover, uh, QA1 suspension. And so even though it wasn't a Z28, at least it has much better suspension up front than it even did factory. Uh, these wheels came with a car, and they do have wheel spacers on them, which not ideal, not my favorite setup. Um, eventually we'll replace them, but they are C6 Corvette wheels, pretty standard. Uh, 285s out back and 245s up front. Not a clean car, as I said. <laughs> plenty, of, plenty of body damage. Uh, if you'll come over here take a look at this damage here. I can tell you exactly where that happened at, at a Sonic drive-in. And uh, if you take a look at this nice little baby right here, this, this nice little triangular door ding, uh, it's almost, I wouldn't even call that a door ding at this point, that's a door slam. And uh, I can tell you it happened at Home Depot on a windy day, I went in to grab some air filters last minute and somebody in a Toyota RAV4 freaking slammed their door into it. I came out, I saw the actual car sitting right next to it. I took pictures of it. I was so mad. I got insurance money for it, and then COVID happened, so it never got fixed. Uh, but it will at some point. And realistically, the body shop told me that in order to fix that, they want to go ahead and spray this whole, whole side of this car and repaint almost half of it just to do the door because of the paint matching because this is custom paint so 
not very excited about that. I'd rather replace the door and wrap the car than I would repaint the whole thing. It's not worth it right now. So anyhow, T-top car, and yes, I have leak problems. Yes, I have new seals all around it. Am I good at installing those seals? No. Am I good at aligning the windows? No. So it doesn't go through the car wash, which is probably part of why it doesn't get washed as much. But I do hand wash it. I do spray it. It's got problems everywhere, but it's a fun car. Um, you know, it has Dakota digital gauges in it. And um, a Sony head unit. It's pretty dirty inside because, you know, like I said, it's the winter, so I don't really care. Um, so we can show the inside, but not great. Grant steering wheel, pretty cheap. Challenger steering, steering wheel. Uh, these seats came with a car, and they are, who knows? Who knows what brand they are? I have no idea. They need to be replaced or at least restuffed because they are not as squishy as I would like them to be at this point. Uh, we do have a booster seat in the back because, yeah, this is a family car. Believe it or not, uh, this is the perfect family car for traveling, and you should totally take a family of four in it at all times. Yes.
desert biome out here. Definitely not giving it all she's got. I don't want to push it too hard today. It's been a while since I've driven her this hard, so... passes I think you know we're gonna head back home and, and check the video uh, but looking pretty good
All right, well, we made it back. It was a great drive. Hopefully you enjoyed that video and it wasn't too shaky. Uh, we've had to get some better mounting on the dash uh, for some of our cameras and things. Um, made it back in one piece. And uh, this drip was here when I left, so I'm not gonna count that. It looks, it looks like coolant maybe. But uh, if we look under the car, no drips. So that's a good sign, especially after really, you know, driving out that hard and I've had some intake manifold gasket issues in the past so uh, we got back and I had you know 55 60 psi of oil pressure on the highway at, at cruising speed and um, you know still have 20 something 30 psi of oil pressure at idle so you know seems good everything's good today and uh, we're going to end it off there but thank you so much for watching today and I hope you enjoyed Sally and uh, we'll have more content around here coming up soon. Hey.